Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners in this division, DC, and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive jiu-jitsu, defensive jiu-jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the jiu-jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Pistol! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. And we are underway at the Mecca, Madison Square Garden in New York City. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the cover. no good and he landed the right hand there oh, defense into offense there as he blocks the strike and counters with a perfect jab look at how he turns and gets over as he throws that kick oh, oh he's hurt bad he's hurt bad john he's got to press him he's got to go chase that finish down now Big knee to the body. Visibly limping here. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh, straight right. Nice job at least staying upright on that. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upset. Oh. strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming so just the way he drew it up 
exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout assassin. And there is the man of the moment. And what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.